In the name of God, who started every life when a man and a woman loved each other. Many people have been hurt because of weapons. And I know some new information on how to help you with your physical therapy because many times when people are hurt with the weapons there will be a problem with moving your arms or your legs so this is new information about the physical therapy and i was thinking about it for a long time only for you only to bring it to you and this is what happens when someone is hurt with a weapon the body becomes very relaxed and when the body goes very very relaxed the muscles go longer and as the muscles go longer it makes it harder for the um it makes it harder for the blood to get across there. So when you wake up after you are hurt um, from a weapon and um, the muscles did not have blood, very much blood for some time because um, they were very relaxed out and now when they don't have very much blood it makes so that there's not enough chemicals because the blood is loaded with those chemicals that are starting things so there's not enough chemicals getting to it because it's relaxed the muscles are relaxed because of the weapon so when you need to put more get more blood so you can get the chemicals down there you and you are um and your muscle is like this you can try to put water you i'm sorry you can try to put blood down this but you will have a problem you will have very much that is um, not going through but what happens when you when the muscle is not long it's not overly long instead it's back up more then this is not long it's soft and round because this is here it's up, it's not long, it's soft and round. And now when I put the blood, it's gonna go catch very much and go very easy. So this is how it's working in the body with the blood. So there is a, a important um, um, move for the hand. So when the, when the hand is relaxed because of the attack and the hand is relaxed like this there is one thing that this hand needs to do that it's not and that is the hand needs to be able to go like this this is simply what the hand cannot do which it needed so this is because there's not enough blood going inside of the muscles. So what you would do is, if, if, this, is the, if this is the move that it cannot do, what you do is in, you need to put the hand in a position where it can stay there for some time with his muscles standing like this. He needs to have from some time that, that his, that, that this hand is sitting like this so that the blood can go inside 
there you are opening the muscles because this is the hand now and this is the muscles you are opening these muscles up in order to in order to do this this is the normal this is what he the muscle the position that the muscle needs to feel in order to get the chemical and for the leg it's very important the leg <clears throat> when the when the body is going very very relaxed this is going to go relaxed and the one thing that he needs to do when he is walking so he is walking and he needs to go like this but when he is very relaxed, he is gonna go and he's gonna have to come down. He is going to every time have to pull up and he is gonna come first here and down here. This is not what he wants. He What he wants is to go but he cannot because there he needs to have because he is like this and he needs to be like this and when you this is the only thing you need to do you need to hold your leg like this hold it like this hold it like this and just it can stay this is the exercise this is the move and this is the muscle here that's having the problem this is the one that's losing it when he he is coming over and this is the one that needs to be exactly like that so <clears throat> those are those two moves from the hand and the foot the hand the only thing that the hand it needed to do that it could not do was to be up like this so the exercise is this hold him there don't move just hold it there these are getting fat this is the physical therapy holding him in place if if this piece here is always very 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 relaxed he will not get the blood down he needs to be fatter he needs to sit here all day just like this all day don't leave him down here because he cannot get blood now it's fat and all day i am just sitting here it's gonna be pushing that to it and I am going to go into um, some pictures um, that are connected with uh, um, the um, politics and um, and these there's these health pictures too that are connected so another important health for the winter time because it's very cold outside or you are inside and it gets um very um hot and you lose your water you will never take enough water inside your mouth to um f to get to all of your body as fast as this sun is going to take it you will never be able to drink him as fast as the sun is going to take it. So this is why this actually takes water. And so does this. So this will happen every day that you will need to replace the water here. And you cannot do it by taking it in your mouth. You must take it on your face and on your skin and when you do you will see that 
the there is life in the face it the water puts life and when you start to feel ugly and um your face looks tired you very much will need to replace the all of this um that your skin this organ needs for energy for life actually needs it for life or it cannot generate and um this is a secret that i use because um you can eat it and then you can trust it for your body so this is coconut oil and this is uh, also very important in today's day um, and for the skin and this is um, when you don't have when your skin begins to get very dry it starts to look older so this is something that I do almost every day And you do around so that this is not um, getting dry and old and this is the fountain of youth to the face and this would um, this is this will immediately make the skin look younger and um stop the skin from you know opening and cracking and it puts the life back in so this is something very important that many of the women do not understand about the um about taking care of the face is that you if you need to look younger you must have very much um moisture around in the face so you need to put um, like a, something on for to um, pro, uh, protect it. And another thing that the um, many women do not understand about the beauty is for your hair. So the hair it has um, the hair is has these fish scales on it that open or close from the um, temperature and the water from the air. So by putting this here, and the women who wear them know that this, by wrapping your hair in these, this will make your hair like the, like silk, like very very soft because it's protecting from the um, changes of the water in the air and it's keeping the hair closed so this is um, papers that I had written for my mother and this one it says everything about the muscles and the um, circulation uh, in the heart. So these two systems need this system and this system completely need vitamin B1 vitamin B1. And the reason why it needs vitamin B1 is that the for the um, blood, the vitamin B1 is that's the B1 is hitting that. And when you don't have B1, it makes it go and the B1 is helping him normal normal like that so if you are like 
fast and then slow. This is B1s. This is uh, problems or something. It's um, messing with the chemicals there and just messing with him. And the um, uh, B1 is also needed for the muscles. So it helps make the chemical that allows the muscles to um, allows the muscles to relax so they get um, a chemical it's building up in them and then this next chemical it uh, helps clear out another chemical so you need to clear this chemical you know just a little bit and so the B1 is making sure that you don't that it's clearing so that it's relaxing and um, these chemicals, they're not only for these muscles, these are working in the body, in the head. They're working, they're very uh, 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 powerful chemicals. So, last, I am going to read a paper. <clears throat> And because this paper is about Erdogan, the president of Turkey, that I am going to share some of the um, words from the president of Turkey before I read you this small paper. And this is, our problem is not with the Syrian people, our problem is with the cruel Assad regime. In my opinion, Bashar al-Assad has finished his political life. He does not work like a politician. He is working as an actor in, in a war and he is responsible from, from the blood. Um, Turkey, it's with the people of Syria, not with Bashar. The Syrian people are our brothers. We have these feelings in mind. The Syrian regime has become a terrorist state. Turkey cannot allow us to say nothing and feel nothing about it when this country near ne next to us is breaking apart. There is um, many people killed all in the same time. And this is from Assad on his own people. This regime, Assad, has lost his authority and his legitimacy to rule Syria. No administration in history has been the victorious in a war on his people, and it will never be. It's undeniable fact that Assad and his regime are in a bloody battle, uh, um, but their end is coming with every step. He, Assad is trying to be bigger than his father. This one is the minister in Turkey. Don't forget, if we do not act against this crimes of humanity happening in front of our eyes, 
we are helping. We are helpers in this. And we need to ask, how can we um, sleep and in good conscience and feel comfortable by not doing anything? Every day, it's a new massacre against the Syrian people. Now, the regime is using fighter jets against the people and heavy artillery and tanks. How long are we going to sit and watch while an entire generation is being killed by this um, random bombings and deliberate ma mass targeting? <clears throat> And one from Jordan. Um, if he if he cares about the people of Syria, he will step down. This is connected with the paper that we're going to read. This is the city of Idlib. And this is looking west down this road where there is some operations happening. And these are making millions of dollars. And this is a foreign trade. And it's outside Idlib here. And here is a prison and I, I am unsure of where all the prisons, all the jails are in Idlib, but um, you cannot think about these this money and not see this and not remember this, this these jails. In the name of God, who would catch you on his wings and pull you to safety faster than the blink of an eye, as thus he has written it into the anatomy of mankind. Erdogan would never do to us what Jolani has done to us. Erdogan never treated his people with war. Erdogan has defended the people of, the, of Syria from the start. The doors were wide open and refuge was granted millions and millions of times from Erdogan to the people of Syria. The country of Syria will be entirely displaced into the land of Turkey if Erdogan was to open the borders again. Erdogan did not ask the Turkish people if they would accept the people of Syria. He simply opened the door and said, Come here, I will protect you. Erdogan was our strongest defender from the start of the revolution in Syria. He spoke to the United Nations asking for a no-fly zone and a Turkish safe zone for the people of Syria so that he could defend our land and our homes to stop our government from killing us. <clears throat> <clears throat> the Turkish intelligence has changed the course of history when he put his hand between Al Jolani and Al Zakur. The attack on the family of Al Zakur devastates and cri cripples the integrity of the North. We see these waves of arrests as red flags of oppression. There is nothing we wish more than the release of all of the family members who are in those jails in Idlib. This is the last refuge. You have left the people of Syria with nowhere to go.
we have no bargaining chip to return our family members who are being deprived of life. We have a government that named themselves the name of salvation and they have never saved anyone from that jail. There's a big jail system in Idlib and it's centered on the outskirts of the city. It's facing a mega mining operation for the foreign trade of phosphate. There's nothing in Idlib that makes more money than that place. There's no chance that the government of Idlib is not connected to the mining of that phosphate outside that jail in Idlib because you need to do foreign trade. Only the government of Idlib would have the privileges of contracting foreign trade of phosphate from Syria. So every time the government of Idlib, the Salvation government, looks inside their pockets, they, for cash, they see that jail where Jolani is holding our families. We are very sick and the mothers are heartbroken. Your loving daughter, Catherine L. Wan.